Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's setup, um, I wanted to try something different. I'm literally like doing a whole tour around my house for each video. But today is gonna be um, a pretty short video. I just want to talk to you guys and answer some questions that I get a lot. And I'm also gonna be answering um, questions about this hair in particular because I got so many like DMs and questions about this hair. You guys really like the blonde on me and I like it too. So yeah, it's gonna be like a little chit chat type of video while I'm sitting on my couch. So make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, um, comment below what other types of videos you guys would like to see from me, and make sure you guys are subscribed if you haven't already. So to start off, I'm gonna be, um, I'm just gonna tell you guys like where I got this hair from. This is from Icy Hair, and this is from their um, AliExpress store. Um, I've worked with them a lot of times. When anyone asks me what is like one of my favorite, um, hair stores. I always let them know that Icy Hair is one of my favorites. Um, I just have never gotten like really bad hair from them yet. Um, I've had this one, a curly wig. Um, I've had a straight wig, like my 26 inch. Like even my clients that, like, that I do hair installs on, whenever they bring Icy Hair, it's always good quality. So I do recommend them. And this is not because I am affiliated with them. It's just because I honestly believe so. I will let you know. Like, I get DMs all the time, so you guys can always ask me questions. And I'll tell you, like, my honest opinion. Um, this is 20 inches, I believe. Like, right up there. This was a 613 wig. So, I didn't mean to do this color. But it just ended up happening. And I was happy with it. I was trying to go for a toned like wig like this but i was supposed to use different toners so i literally just like played around with it that's why i didn't film it because what i wanted to do didn't really happen and then sally like the hair stores have been closed because of quarantine so that didn't open up so i had to use whatever i had um so what i ended up doing was i got um the wella color charm um like toners or color um i used 10 nw I'll put them all in the description, but I used two of 10NW and one of 6N, I believe. So I accidentally, like I put the 10 in and then I had a 10 and a 6 and I was like, okay, let me just put the other 10 because that's all I was going to do. But I accidentally put the 6 and I was like, wait, I just m messed this up. And the 6 is like a, a darker brown. So I was so upset, but like, you know, I had to use it. So I just put more of the 10 to balance it out. And I just said, whatever, let's just go with it. Let's see what happens. And I started in the front. So I started with the roots because I knew it was going to be dark. And I dyed the roots first. I went from here to there. Only the front till because you don't really see the back. And then um, while that was processing, I quickly went and did the back. So the back is a bit darker. And then I worked my way forward because I wanted the top to be lighter. And that's basically what happened. It was super simple, surprisingly, because it was just one bowl of color for the whole head. And it was just the timings that were different. So whatever you want to be darkest, you should do first. And that was the roots that I did. And then I worked from the back all the way to the front, if that makes sense. And I literally kept it for, like the front part, I kept it for about 10 minutes. So while the back and the roots were processing the... After I finished, I just waited 10 minutes and then I washed everything out and this is how it came out. I was scared at first because it looked silver and I didn't want silver hair. I wanted, you know, a nice blonde uh, but toned look and it worked perfectly. So that is how I did it. I hope that answers your questions, but you guys can always um, leave any comments below and I will answer them. I will put the link to this, um, to the hair down below. You could do this with any 613 hair, of course. You don't have to use this specifically, but that is what I used and... Um, I really like the lace. Um, Icy Hair always does have like super thin lace and it's never too light or too dark. And of course with 613 like wigs, most of the time the lace is super thin and can work with any skin tone. I did the wig cap method, like the bald head, you know, the wig cap method. Like the lace ended up being really nice, so I didn't even have to put baby hairs here. Like it looks super natural, you guys can see. And yeah. Um, of course, whenever you work with 613 hair and you color it, you always are going to have some like dryness. So it's starting to get there. I think all I have to do is just deep condition it and it should be okay. But it's, it's starting to crunch a little bit. Just a little bit. It's, it's been a week 
over a week actually it's been over a week right now um, since I installed this and nothing has lifted everything has been really nice so that is everything you need to know about this hair and how I colored it and all of that like I said if you have any questions just let me know and I have a couple um, questions on my phone that I get all the time I always get um, a bunch of questions about like hair and wigs and everything because I do like try different wigs out all the time so I'm just gonna answer some of my most asked questions and uh, the first one is how long do you keep your wigs in for I always get this question and I say like don't listen to me because I am working with my wigs and I'm also like a very indecisive person so I like to switch things up really quick so I am not the best person to answer this, but if I really wanted to, I could keep my wigs on for about two and a half weeks if I want. Like this is only a week and it's still perfectly fine. I didn't have to retouch or anything. So I could do that if I want to, but because I do work like with my wigs, um, I do switch it up often or if I get tired of it, I will switch it like even in a day I've done that before. So it always depends for me, but that doesn't mean that's what you have to do. You can do it however you like but mostly with ghost bond and stuff like that you can you can keep it up for two weeks if you take care of it properly so this goes into the next question is how do you take care of your wigs and do you sleep with your wigs like i feel like that goes hand in hand but i always get surprised when people ask me if i sleep in with my wigs like do you really think i take this off and install it every morning no so because i install my wigs mostly with ghost bond um and it's pretty waterproof i believe like all i do is just i wrap like the base of the hair so this part with like a scarf or silk scarf is the best um, when I sleep and then I always put the rest of the hair into like one big braid and that is the best way to maintain the hair for me and like you won't want to get any tangles when you wake up and the front is all nice and secure so that is what you would have to do to keep it in for long um, if you don't wrap your hair and the lace and your edges get messed up while you're sleeping then of course it's gonna come out like quicker so yeah that is how you take care of it and also to keep like detangling your hair especially with curly hair because this back part right here in the kitchen area like that part will get super tangled if you don't take care of it and then it'll get into knots and then just the whole mess so that is what I recommend and now another question that I also get a lot is um, how do you take care of your real hair so um, all of my hair is inside here and it's in a lot of cornrows a major thing I do is I always oil my scalp in between wigs like I don't always take out the braids because they can last for like a month or something so every time I do switch my wigs up I just oil my scalp and make sure you know that part is all good um, I haven't had any issues honestly like it's my hair is growing and I would also say um, to make sure you wear a wig cap especially if like you have a lot of hair so like with my hairline I don't know why but my sideburns and like my side edges are closer to my eyebrows than like here like here I got forehead I got space so I can glue my wigs like to my skin here without having to touch my edges but on this side is where I have the most issues so what I've seen works for me is to do um the wig cap method so making sure like the wig cap is covering all of your hair before you do use any harsh glues like ghost bond or bold hold or whatever um that is what i would recommend so the wig cap basically like keeps your hair safe and then the glue is getting on the wig cap instead of your edges and um when you take it out that is the most important part Please don't use water when you guys take out your wigs. Most of these glues are meant to be waterproof, so taking it out with water is not really doing you anything. Like you need rubbing alcohol to take out your wigs. That's what I use. I know you can use some oils. I haven't tried it yet, but for me what works is I use my rubbing alcohol and then just gently like rub on it until it comes loose. It'll kind of like melt and then it slowly comes off and rub it. Do not pull. That's how you get rid of your edges. All my edges are intact. They've been great they're growing um you will lose like a bit of hair like face like facial hair on the sides but that's whatever that can go and another question i get is does the glue affect you in any way and no it hasn't for me i haven't been allergic to ghost bond um i've used bold hold and i didn't get any reactions my skin was always fine um but i did try this one glue i'm not gonna name it um someone sent it to me but it just honestly just started like itching and then um, I had like bumps and everything so I did not use that glue anymore but the glues that I use work for me doesn't mean it's gonna work for you so make sure you test it out before you run with it and uh, the last question is what is your favorite um, 
wig brand and I don't have one I don't have actually I do it's mine that I'm working on um, I'm still working on my hair brand if you guys don't know that but I always like to tell my followers people that watch my live know this um, I am working on my own hairline I do like custom orders for my clients because I do wig installs and stuff like that so I've been doing that but I'm working on my website and all of that and hopefully it comes out very soon you know gotta speed this up just a lot of work but um, I because I have been trying a lot of different wigs I know what I like and I feel like I know what you guys would like so that's what I'm working on and yeah I think that is my most asked questions um, if you guys end up having other questions just let me know in the comments or um, you can also DM me if you have like specific questions that you want to ask me um yeah you can always dm me on instagram and i'll try and answer but yeah that is pretty much everything i didn't want to make this too long just want to keep you know nice and short i am gonna try and do more videos but i'm just super super busy and i am doing classes right now so i'm trying i'm trying and yeah if you guys like this video um uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already and i'll see you guys in my next video